for advice. I've also spoken to um, my colleagues and I'm going to continue to let the motion pass and take a vote on it. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Um, in that case, um, could we consider Councillor Gilchrist's uh, what he said as an amendment to that, and, and I would be willing to um, second that because I cannot find it acceptable to propose that we're in the middle of a consultation on this topic. Councillor Gilchrist, 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 Councillor work from in front of me but like well, officers have you have read it and I hope it's been considered as what we try to establish this evening. Uh, and on that basis I'm quite happy to have it moved. I don't think it conflicts with the council's policy, the new uh, additional wording that suggests is to actually stop the consultation, which I think would be a problem as meetings have been set, they've been publicised. And uh, as some of us know, we are, I'm anxious about the impact on uh, Cheshire and it's a, the southern part of Wirral. And those meetings are set in train, and I think it'd be a great discourtesy to councillors from our neighbouring authority to suddenly say we're stopping the consultation or trying to stop it. Okay, we'll have to go with the with the motion then. Um. 
features here exactly what was moved as the addition chair. I'm sorry this confusion reigns, especially in my hearing. We had a discussion about whether the consultation should cease. Mr. Hodkinson advised us that wasn't possible. Some further words, in addition to the council amendment, council motion were suggested. I don't have them before me. I would happily consider those as a separate item of resolution from the committee if they could be clarified. But as things stand, that's what I'm moving based on what we've heard in evidence this evening. Points of order, Chair. Chair, points of order. Um, the, the procedure, I understand it, right, is you should have took the amendment first, right? But there was a vote on the amendment, which was recorded. Then you take the substantial motion, which is which is the motion that came from, from us. And and then, you know, that's it, basically. And then we've Councillor Gilchrist has an alternative for this uh, motion. I just go through it again. Councillor Norbury is being helpful. There was an original, original suggestion, which we haven't got the full wording of, but we're familiar with the book of it from Council, to which I moved an amendment which has been seconded. My amendment doesn't take account of some additional wording we heard earlier because I'm not clear on it. However, if my um, motion was to be passed, we can then discuss if it's moved as a further motion. The issue that's been raised by members over there, as I see it. I'll happily listen to what Ms. Shaw has to say. I think Councillor Gilchrist, are you referring to the um, amendment that Councillor Jones read out earlier? Is that what you're saying you're not clear about? Yes. Well, what, what, yeah. Yeah. We'd need to hear exactly what that was. Not the bits that went through council, but what's been suggested. And we need them to consider whether it is relevant to the school.